So for the past 5 months, I have been incredibly busy building my YouTube studio and home office space. Having my own dedicated office space to create and edit my YouTube videos has been a dream of mine for a very long time, and I'm excited to finally be able to share this milestone with you. In this video, I'll go over why I designed my office the way that I did, give you a tour of my office space, and share with you the products that I use to create my YouTube videos. Hi, my name is Gerardo Hernandez, and on this channel, you'll find tech reviews, PC builds, and occasional setup tours like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing for more tech content. And now, let's dive right into the video. Functionality was the primary factor driving the design of my studio. I wanted a space that not only looked good, but that it also helped speed up my workflow. To visualize the layout, I used the 5D interior design app, which gave me a rough idea of how everything would fit together. Once I was happy with my design, I began bringing it to life. In order to maximize my 10 by 12 office, I mounted four cob lights on each end of the office to give me plenty of lighting coverage throughout the space. I made sure to conceal all the cables running up the walls to maintain a clean and professional look. And to streamline the lighting setup, I have each light connected to a smart strip so that I can turn the lights on and off as needed with my phone or by asking Google Assistant. Now, one of the downsides about having my lights mounted so high up is that I need to use this tool to make any adjustments. It's a minor inconvenience compared to the overall efficiency it brings to my workflow. For my lighting setup, I am using the small rig 120D cob light, and as the name implies, it's a 120 watt light. Across it, I have the newer CB200B, a 210 watt light, and this is the brightest light that I own. Now in the back of my studio, I have the newer CB150, and this is a 150 watt light. And the one above my door is the newer CB100, which is a 100 watt light. As for the diffusers, I am using the 25 inch softbox from small rig on two of the front ones and on the left rear one. For the one above the door, I went with the 26 inch newer softbox. So this lighting combination has been working out really well for me for the past three months, but I do plan on getting one more light in the future. I have to admit that I spent an excessive amount of time in my office, so an ergonomic office chair and a standing desk were a must for me. I am currently using the FlexiSpot E7 Pro standing desk and the Odin Lake Ergo Plus 743 chair. Now I won't go into detail on my desk setup because I already did a video on that, but I have made some modifications since then, so I'll go over those changes. So I ended up spray painting my boom arm to fit with my overall desk theme better. I also picked up a new set of speakers because like I mentioned in my desk setup video, my right speaker gave out after 4 years. I ended up picking up the Audio Engine A2 which sound great by the way, and they also fit underneath my monitors and they look awesome with my setup. Well at least I think so. I also picked up the Canto S2 tilt to stand that I think makes them look much better. I also ended up sticking my SD card readers underneath my desk which have been very handy, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Now something new that I have on here is the Daivoom Timescape display, and it's gonna display anything from the time to what you can imagine and design on the app. You can even have it show your subscriber count or TikTok follower count, and this is a pretty cool little gadget. As for the monitors, I'm still using the Samsung S8 27 inch 4K monitor as my editing monitor and the Pixio 27 inch 1440p 144Hz monitor as my secondary and gaming monitor. Powering the entire setup is my custom PC that I built. I am running the Ryzen 9 7950X CPU with the RTX 3080 GPU and I have 128GB of DDR5 RAM, which helps me power through RAM intensive programs such as Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects and Solitaire. Under my desk, I keep my camera backpacks that I use most frequently. I'm currently using the extra grid backpack and the VSO backpack from Case Logic. Under here, I also have a drawer that I got off Amazon and it doesn't have much in here yet. The first one is empty and in the second one, I keep most of my office supplies in. The rest of the drawers have products that I plan on making videos on. I also have an Alexa drawer on the right side where I keep a few more items. This is where I like to keep my favorite power banks, wall plugs, laptop bags, and tech pouches that I like to take with me when I travel. On top of the Alexa drawer, I have a couple of baskets where I keep extra USB-C cables, HDMI, and DP cables. I also have a basket where I just throw random things in. I also keep my air purifier on top of here. I don't really know where to put this, so I just left it here. On the left side of my desk, I mounted a metal pegboard that my friend gave to me. It used to be black, but I spray painted it white to blend in with my theme, and I also spray painted the hooks white. This is where I keep the cables that I use most frequently, my headphones, and my favorite custom controllers. I also have a shelf that I got off Amazon and on the upper half I have some decorations and my gimbal. 
and this is the Ronin RS3 and it has been a lot of fun to use. I mainly use this with my Panasonic GH5 Mark II. I like to use the gimbal with this link handle and I added a quick release plate for the base and this has made my life so much simpler. On the lower section I have a couple boxes that I plan on labeling later on and this is where I will be storing some cables and other random accessories that I get throughout the year. Now jumping over to this area over here, this is where I build my camera rig, unbox products, and keep most of the gear that I need to make my videos with. It's somewhat organized and the idea here is to have a grab and go station to help me create videos faster by reducing the amount of time it takes to set up. So I have my sliders for display on the wall and I figured it would be easier for me to just grab the sliders off the wall than having to dig through them in the drawer. I actually have three sliders but these are the two that I use most often. They are both by newer and you'll notice that I have a lot of gear from them. And this is not sponsored by the way. So this one is motorized and it's 39 inches long. And this has a wire controller that attaches to it. I am looking to upgrade this so that I don't have that cable in the way. The smaller one is a carbon fiber one and this is a great little slider because I can just fit it in my bag and I can just take it with me when I'm shooting away from my office. Now below this I have a second pegboard and on this one I keep a long bar light, camera batteries, B-mount batteries and charging cables that I use most often. So anything that I'm constantly grabbing lives here. For my top down shots I am using the 46 inch Husky workbench. And this is a bit wobbly so to prevent my camera from capturing shaky footage I mounted my top down rig on the ceiling. I am using a 39 inch adjustable mount and I made sure to bolt this down into the studs. To hold my camera I got a magic arm from Newer and I bought a female to female adapter so that I could attach the magic arm to the boom arm. I also attached a ball head to the magic arm so that I could adjust the angle of the camera whenever I wanted to. And I also added a quick release place so that I can get my camera on and off as quickly as possible. Now to see what the camera is seeing, I have a 6 inch monitor that I clamped onto the shelf and I also have a V-mount battery plate that I clamped onto the shelf. And with this setup, I can quickly swap out my V-mount batteries. I like how all of this turned out and it has made my job much easier. Now the way that I change up my background instead of using cardstock paper, I use mouse pads. They are easy to clean and I can spill water on them without having to worry that they will get destroyed. It was a bit pricey buying multiple mouse pads but they are more durable than backdrop paper so they should last me a long time. I have already been using these for over two years now. Since these mouse pads are very large, I store them underneath my sofa so that it doesn't take up any valuable space when I'm not using them. Now, before we take a look inside the drawers, let's take a look at the left side of my workbench. Since this is metal, I bought a couple of magnetic spice racks that were made to stick onto the side of a fridge, and I use them to hold my MPF batteries. I believe these spice racks can hold up to 6 pounds each, and it's been working out great for me. One of the cool things about this workbench is that it has a built-in power strip on the right side. And as you can see, I have filled it up already. I did connect a smaller power strip on this and I stuck it to the side of the workbench with double-sided tape. I also stuck my MPF battery charger and camera battery charger with double-sided tape and it has been holding up pretty well so far. I am also planning on adding a power hub on the left side of the workbench. Now as for the cameras that I use to shoot my videos with, I use the Panasonic GH5 Mark II and the Panasonic GH6. Both have a small rig cage on them because I like to rig out my cameras. The Panasonic GH6 is rocking the 10-25mm f1.7 Leica lens. And the GH5 Mark II has the 12-60mm f2.8-f4 to f4 Leica lens. So on the GH5 Mark II, I always have a shutter remote on it that I use to start and stop recording when I have the camera mounted on the top down rig or when I have it on a slider. I usually keep this camera up here alongside the battery plate contraption that I made for it. And I also like to keep a desk tripod up here. On the Panasonic J6, I have some quick NATO release handles to make it easier to carry around. I also have two different mics on here. The first one is the Rode VideoMic Pro, and this is a shotgun microphone that I use to capture audios from unboxings. The second one is the DJI wireless mic, and I have the receiver on the right side, and I just switch between the two by disconnecting one and connecting the other. I also have a 7-inch monitor from DeskView, and it's just big enough to help me see what I'm recording without having to get too close to it. I also have a focus dial on here that I actually use for zooming in and out. Now the last thing that I keep on here is a shutter remote, but this one is pretty cool because it actually has a button on the receiver itself, which allows me to stop and start recording right from the receiver. And this has been incredibly handy for me when I'm recording handheld. Wait, I almost forgot. I also have a V-mount battery play on here to power my entire setup. Now diving into the drawer, the first one is a very long drawer and I have multiple organizing bins to help me keep everything separated and ready to go. And I keep most of the items that I use often, like my Studio Light remote, 
unboxing knives, a tape measure to measure the product's dimensions, a caliper to measure the thickness of the products, and a scale to weigh them. I also keep some pencils, pens, and sharpies in here. I also have my third lens in here, and this is the 35 to 100 millimeter f 2.8 lens. I used to have more lenses, but I ended up selling them because I didn't use them as often after I got the 10 to 25 f 1.7 Leica lens. So yeah, anything that helps me measure my products and stuff like that will be found in this drawer. And I also have a decibel reader in the very back here. Uh, so yeah, it's just anything that, that helps me out. In this next drawer here, I have my battery chargers, and this is also where I keep my accessories for my DJI mic. Now on the next drawer down, I have a ton of batteries. And a lot of products that I get sometimes don't come with the battery, so it's great to have a variety ready to go. And this has been pretty handy for me. The next one down is where I have my camera accessories that I used to build up my camera rig. And there's things like magic arms, mounting plates, and stuff like that. I also use the same bin organizing system throughout all of my drawers, so you'll see a lot of that. Now let's jump into the three drawers on the right side. On the first one, I have multiple tools that I use for putting stuff together and taking them apart. I'm into building PCs, so I keep some thermal paste handy and SSD enclosures for whenever I need to clone a drive. On the next drawer, I have some tools to help me keep my desk, camera, and PC clean. Now in the last smaller drawer, I have a couple of small portable lights and camera flash. The last two bottom drawers are reserved for big items and boxes, and this is where I throw things that I don't know where to put yet. The wall on the back is the space that my wife is using for her crafting things, so we'll leave that area alone. Now in this corner, this is where I keep all of my tools, and this is also where I store my tripods, shoulder rigs, and portable lights. Just anything that is big, I took away in this corner. So my favorite fluid head tripod is the newer TP75 video tripod, and this thing is great. So much that I bought a second one. This gives me buttery smooth panning, and I can control the tension for both the vertical and horizontal panning. Now this little section over here is my little lounge area, and this is where I come to relax on my breaks. I am usually here scrolling through Instagram memes or watching YouTube videos. So I searched for weeks for a small sofa that was long enough for me to be able to lay down on it, but compact enough to not take up too much space, and this was the perfect one that I found. This came with one side flat pillow, so I went to Walmart and bought four more pillows and I think it looks great. The nightstand is also from Amazon and all of the ones that I saw on Amazon had an outlet at the top. I'm not using the outlet so I just covered it with fake little plants. The lamp that I use for this area is the BenQ Genie lamp. It has eye care technology and is flicker free and you can also adjust the warmth of the light. It's a great light, I've been using it for years. This is usually where I keep my Samsung Tab S8 and I use this when I'm on the sofa. Now in the first drawer, this is where I like to keep my favorite wallets. The second one has my Nintendo Switch accessories and my Nintendo Switch is up here on display. And now the last drawer, this is where I like to keep my snacks. You have to have some snacks to help you get throughout the day. Since the space is not very big, I try to utilize the top section by adding some shelves and using it for storage. This is where I keep some of my big bags and other random things. So yeah, that about wraps it up. If you feel like I missed something, make sure to let me know in the comment section and I hope you enjoyed this video. So thank you all for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech content and I will talk to you on the next one.